Holy Ghost this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Can you feel it this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I feel a glory cloud in the sanctuary this morning. Bigger men out of him. 
him, but he always took weak, frail men and made them into mighty men of power. Right, right, right. Come on. God took the man that was threshed from weak by his wife, threshed one time. Yes, he did. Who was a farmer. He wasn't a strong man. He was a coward man. Right. Yeah. Why was he a coward? Because he was afraid. He didn't want the meal that he was getting ready to thresh. He didn't want the enemy to come and steal it from him. Right. See, it's in your ignorance sometimes. It's in your immorality sometimes that God can change your life around. When it seems to be upside down, he can turn you right side up this morning. Yeah. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many feel the Lord in the house? Yes, amen. And we'll go over a few things, and you can write the scriptures down as we go this morning. I feel the Lord in this message already. Amen. In Exodus 4 and 2, Moses had a rod in his hand. Amen. He simply used it to walk and to guide his sheep. Amen. But the Lord asked him in Exodus 4 and 2, he said, Moses, what is that that you have in your hand? Moses said, Lord, it's just a staff. It's a rod. It's just a piece of wood. But God said, yes, it might be just a piece of wood. And I might be a weak instrument. But I'm going to have you put your staff over the land of Egypt. And the place of God is going to move to that staff. Amen. Why? It's not the wood, but it's the anointing that it has. Not only did this rod, it didn't bring the plagues of Egypt, but it parted the Red Sea and the children of Israel crossed on the other side of the dry land. Amen. Amen. Right. In Judges 15 and 15, we read that Samson found the new jawbone of an ass. Nothing special about the jawbone, but the jawbone that he used, amen, it wasn't the jawbone, but it was the anointing of God that moved upon him. Amen. It's something weak. It's something frail. Amen. It's made a thousand men. God will make a way for your escape this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. I feel the anointing of God. If I could jump out of my skin this morning, I feel like I could jump out of my skin, Brother Bear. Amen. It wasn't the jawbone. Amen. That made a significant difference in what he was going to face. It was just his willingness to obey the Spirit of God. Yeah. Amen. It's not what you do in this life that it gets you through. It's your willingness to obey the Spirit of God. Yeah. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We also read in 1 Samuel 17 and 40, David goes down to the brook. Brother Vic, he has a shepherd's staff in his hand. Right. Yes. Come on. Right. So I said, where's David at? Hallelujah. He's down by his car. Well, what's he do? I've done, amen. Now I done offered him every bit of my armor. Yeah. Uh -huh. I offered him my sword. See, you can't use somebody else's sword in your battle. You can't use somebody's sword of the spirit or their shield of faith or the breastplate of righteousness. You gotta have it for yourself this morning. Amen. 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 What's David doing down there? I don't know, but he's doing something. I can't make it quite out what it is. But David got down in that brook and he chose five smooth stones. Amen. Now, Brother Tommy, it wasn't the stone that did anything, but it was just his willingness to obey the Spirit of God. Amen. And I know that it didn't take time, but it took one stone. We can't wish to bring great God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Praise the Lord. Now, could you see him? Can you picture it this morning? You got a little boy 